Hello. Uh, what you're about to see is yesterday's Easter stuff over at Katie's parents' house. Um, just sort of dying Easter eggs and being with the family. And then a little bit of the night kayaking that we did. We went like three miles um, and it was three hours long and I'm really sore, but it was a lot of fun. So I got some footage of that. Um, also, that I put up a new Haunt Insider, part 15 yesterday. Please go watch that. Um, you know, we'll, we'll try to get that series, you know, get back going after now a month of it, you know, being in hiatus. So please go watch and comment and thumbs up that. And there's also a video I put up the day before that of sort of an update of the next two weeks along with a bunch of, bunch more Hall or, uh, Halloween. Why do I keep wanting to say that? European footage for my tour over there, so. Um, yeah, so anyways, right now, Easter bits and crazy nighttime kayaking. Yeah, you gotta roll it over the... Put it, bring the dark side up. The yeah. dark side. Hey, you didn't worry so much. Another outfit. She looks Easter good. Easter egg. It's getting too hot. Yeah. I should have, I should have put a dress on. <laughs> I don't think you have any more. We need to go. This is the green can, I think. Eating the tortoise spinach. No, he's done eating. He sees that can. He sees he the really green can. can. He thinks that's got to be something different here. <laughs> he's actually got. <laughs> he's chasing the can. <laughs> Where'd it go? That's a big veggie right there. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? You're right, Jerry. He knows green. This one doesn't see in black and white. Put this over by him and see. So much. We're gonna die in. We're gonna die in pink. Take the kid. Take the green egg and put. You see, he's scooting forward. Yeah. Take the green egg. Put it where you can see it. Oh, it's still wet. A piece of sweet potato in there. I think I showed you. The guy who does the main, the main, Easter egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He learned before, yeah. he's just yeah, not, I don't guy, understand yeah. why he's not. <laughs> <laughs> what, did he crack it? No, no that's not a styrofoam. Oh, okay. I think the only thing it was is it scared him because it moved before. It wasn't yeah. his face. Yeah. Just like well, he did green. wipe his face. Yeah, he's kind of like... Alright, so we are going to go nighttime kayaking. Like I mentioned, we actually have quite a few people. Uh, Jenny, Dr. Falk, but this is all uh, Katie's co-workers from her work, and um, I think there's going to be about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about ten of us or so, and I'm going to go out there, it's going to be dark, um, so I don't know, I don't know necessarily the nighttime vlogging if it's really going to show up, but we'll have some flashlights, and, you know, I'll be able to see maybe something. There's a great egret down over there and yeah we're just getting all of our crap together sort of like a lot of our first times doing this at night but uh should be fun let's see what jenny says about it what do you say about this about what about being by yourself in a canoe and <laughs> having to sad, sad. Yeah, have really fun. Bad. josh will see this Jo Josh, come on, draw faster. <laughs> Just get, get her done. Get her done. Graduate and get her done. Josh is Jenny's. Well, you guys should know if you're watching frequently. They don't care. For the ones that care, Josh is Jenny's husband. So. And he bailed. He didn't come tonight. So now Jenny's going to paddle alone. And cry. And cry. You take All right, I'm only gonna vlog for a minute just because I don't want to drop this in the water right now. But um, we're all out, we're all cruising around. We're doing good. Still some daylight, seeing some birds. What'd you say? Oh yeah, this is like pretty close to. I mean, all back in here is very, very fancy houses um, all around. My uh, this is the Tampa Bay. Basically, these all inlets lead out to the Tampa Bay. And then it goes out to the Gulf of Mexico and blah, blah, blah. Um, my parents live right back over there. And we live 
back over that way too, just not on the water, obviously. Um, so yeah, it's pretty. It's very nice out, nice weather, no clouds, so we should be able to see the moon really well. And uh, you're getting to see Katie do some work. I'm not currently paddling. There's my oar. So, all right. Hopefully, maybe like a, next time you'll see us, it'll, it'll be dark. It'll be like more of a, a flashlight update. <laughs> all right, that is Bird Poop Island. Ever since I was a kid, we always would drive, you know, on that road over there going home and go by it. Um, just tons of snow egrets and great egrets and pet brown pelicans and great blue herons and there's some rosette spoonbills buried on the other side and cormorants up on top just a crap ton crap ton of birds and katie <laughs> all right we're about to go under the pier that is the pier the big upside down pyramid um <laughs> It doesn't look, it looks pretty tight, but um, this pier is actually going to get torn down, unfortunately, and they're trying to figure out how they're going to basically redo it or decide if they're going to move it closer to shore. Um, it's just, it, there's barely any shops opening anymore, and they're, just, they're not making any money, and it's been like that for like many, many years now, so. We're going under the creepy bridge. It's dark. Where's my flashlight? Hold on. Let's see if I can pull up my flashlight real quick before we're under it. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's I farted. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, don't hit the ceiling. It's scary. Curse, there's Aaron. Oh. Curse of the haunted pier bridge. Oh, we made it! Thank god. I'm so scared. All right, that was awesome. Look at the pretty sunset, it's beautiful. Wouldn't that be funny if we came out on the other side and people were fishing right there? We're yeah. Like, <laughs> the lines are all tangled up on the No moon yet. Watch the moon not even come out tonight. You gonna spit on? <laughs> uh, and today is my first day back at GameStop. Um, while I was still on tour, I called home a couple times to have Katie let them know uh, put me back on the schedule for like the 10th. It'll give me a few days off to chill and relax and get back to normal sleeping schedule. And when I get home, I call to find out, you know, what my schedule is this week. And they're like, oh, we put you on for the 9th and the 10th and one other day. And I'm like, oh, so I just lost, you know, one extra day off here at home. But, um, oh, well, you know, it'll, I need, need to do something while I'm home for two weeks in the sense of making a little bit of money and I have to go back to GameStop. I can't be gone for almost, I haven't worked there for six, seven weeks, so I can't be gone that long without at least clocking in one time or it makes it hell for them um, having to deal with like <clears throat> uh, inactive employee numbers and crap. But um, anyway, so yeah, I didn't make it on to Shadow of Palms chat on Sunday because of the canoeing, which you just saw, um, but Thursday definitely I will be there. I got home last night from after the canoeing and literally just passed out. I probably slept like 10 or 11 hours last night. So, anyways, uh, what else would be going on? Maybe new Haunt Insider up on Wednesday or so. Probably Wednesday. Uh, so that's it right now. I will talk to you guys later. Peace!